Hey guys, it's Mike. Appreciate you tuning in today. We got a couple of questions from people about the high pressure foam cannon that we sell and uh, how long it should last when you're applying it to a vehicle, what kind of coverage you should get, and uh, just some other general questions that I'm gonna address here in this video. So first thing I always like to call out is this black knob that's on top of the pressure washer cannon here. Um, it's got a plus and a minus on it, and what it does is it changes the dilution of the soap that's coming out when you're spraying. And it's a little bit backwards from what a lot of people will think. Um, if you go all the way to the plus sign, it's actually going to reduce the amount of foam that you get when you're using the foamer. And when you go to the negative sign, it's actually going to give you more foam. Uh, why that is, is anybody's guess, but long story short, that's kind of what you want to pay attention to. Um, kind of a trick of the trade, if you will, is if I'm outside washing in the summer and there's sun and it's hot and things are drying real quickly, I'll generally put the foam on as thick as I can just to get a little bit more working time before the sun dries up that soap. And if it's uh, inside kind of like this or it's cooler or that kind of thing, then uh, I'll actually set it to use a little bit less soap so it's not as, uh, you know, shaving cream foam. And the reason is that is just because it's going to be wasting your product if you start putting on shaving cream foam, you know, foam and uh, it's not serving you much of a purpose. You're really just trying to get a good soapy watery mixture on there so that when you brush, you got a good uh, high lubricity surface. Um, another thing I like to point out is that there is a spray pattern here uh, and you can change it from kind of a narrow stream all the way to more like a fan pattern and again I really recommend using the uh, fan pattern because you're actually getting a lot more coverage and a lot less passes. So I'm going to do a quick coverage on this vehicle behind me here and just show you uh, how quickly you should be able to do it and what kind of coverage you're looking for. Uh, you're going to notice that I'm not going to be going crazy with it. I'm just trying to get a good coverage on there and I should be able to do it pretty darn quick. So uh, yeah, basically I'm going to start my pressure washer here, do a quick demo. And then once I'm done uh, covering the car completely, I'm going to come back to this door panel here and show you what not to do. Okay, so hang tight. Let's do this. So literally that's all you need, it's just a real light coverage like that and uh, that's it. So anything beyond that is really kind of getting wasteful, that's plenty. So now I'm going to show you, like I said, what not to do and what I see a lot of people doing sometimes. I don't know, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, hopefully you saw, but I started off um, pretty much at that top line area, and even with covering the entire car and then wasting a bunch of it on this side, it still only used a couple of ounces. So that's why we really like the foam cannon. It is by far the most efficient way to use your soap, but it's only as efficient as you can be. So get a nice light coverage. Um, and you should be good. If you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out. We love helping you guys, and uh, yeah, enjoy your washing.